My name is Bernard. I'm homeless now. I'm from Dr. I live up in Dublin, and I'm I'm really trying my best to keep keep my head in gear and keep myself uh, trying to keep myself going and keep the mind positive. Wait, sure. Jesus, How did you get well, the situation you're in? Now? I suppose kind of a a broken kind of a home. My mom and dad didn't see eye to eye sometimes, and it, it, it annoyed them because they knew I needed them, and they didn't know how to figure it out. That yeah. you know and. My dad, like I still talk to my dad, my dad loves me, I love him, I still talk to my ma, I, I love her, she loves me, but we don't stay in contact very often. Years go by before we see each other or talk to each other again. But uh, I have found that in the last say, six months of ringing my father, maybe every couple of weeks, I found he's really, really saying to me, ah, Benny, look, I love you, but I just want you to be fit and ready for the toughness of the world. You know, I get that feeling he's saying that to me. Sure, but tell you know? me, bro, uh, so how did you get on this? Like, what uh, I couldn't pay the rent. I was on drug addictions. Like, Talk to me a bit about that. Uh, I started, started smoking weed at a young age and driving cars. And, and it was all tax and insured, of course. But then when I ended up homeless, I ended up on the heroin, smoking it. Then I started injecting it. And then I couldn't pay the rent. Yes. I had bills coming in the door. I ended up just taking other the drugs themselves and getting, getting that bit of rent. You know, that bit of, you yeah. know? And. I, I I just I just said to myself, look, I have a sleeping bag. I noticed I know, there's, there's a homeless hostel, uh, uh, you know, drop-in centre for the day. I said right. to survive like that, and that was down the country. But when I came up to Dublin, it was an awful lot better service. You, you could you could sign on well, it in the place. That's and all over that. six years. Ago, yeah, right? yeah. And how have you been not able to kind of uh, get a job and stuff? Well, get the situation a bit better. Are you still tell us about the drugs. What are you using, Ben? Heroin, crack, cocaine. Uh, Zimmer, uh, not Zimmer Vane, the Tran Tranex. Tranex, yeah. Tranex, uh, but I use them sparingly. Like, I don't go overboard. I don't even drink overboard. I, I, I don't, I, at a young age, I suppose I, I use intoxicants. Have you ever been clean since you started into addiction? Did you ever get a few weeks or. A Staying in the 10 years of taking drugs, I've done about a year and a half sober. And how was that for you? It was lovely. But it, I always was looking forward to getting high again. Yeah. I found myself looking forward to getting high again. So where are you living right now, bro? I'm staying. I'm staying in in a ho in Salvation Army. It's, it's a hospital, but okay. I'm staying there because the get. I had a, I had my own little place in a uh, in just off just off Houston Station, but I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't physically get it into my brain how to cook for myself how to buy the food how to pay the rent how to, how to survive day to day. I did actually, yeah. I did because I don't. I love socializing. I do. I love socializing. And tell me, have you got? You were saying, do you have any mental issues? Yeah, I, I see. That. I see things like I see kind of visions and I hear voices and I, I get paranoid and I get scared. I get anxious. Yeah. I get worried about my own life. I get, I get, I get thinking that there's there's trouble ahead for me that I don't deserve. And sometimes I, I feel it's all up to myself to get through it. And I know it's not. But I, I just don't know how to access the help maybe as good as I do, as, as I sure. should, as I should, you know. I understand that. So it would be fair to say that a lot of your uh, your thinkings about the future would be filled with fear, you know, about what might happen or where will you be at. And worried about your own, the uncertainty of your own situation. Would that be fair to say? Yeah, that would be fair to say. Yeah. Uh, how do you cope with that, bro? Would be living day to day? I try, and, I try and get my mind straight so I can think about it all to see if I can come to a way for me to handle it all. Yeah. In one kind of. But in fairness, we're being really honest. You getting your mind straight means getting a bit of heroin into you, relaxing the head, being able to think clear. Yeah. Would that be correct? That's it's med it's medicine, medicine, yeah. and it is that is the, you can drugs drugs are can be used medicine medicine of course, they're not all recreational. Oh, I so for me, what do you think? I think at this stage your opioid receptors are so frayed, you know, as they would be from mm. a lot of use, and that. It is almost like a medicine for you. Like, we're in 2023 now, bro. You're 32. Yeah. How do you see that? Uh, what do you see the next Well, me, me, dream, me dreams, I'm having lots of nightmares. Right. You know, and I think I'm 23 and 80 now in four months. But I think I have a couple of angels, say, of servants of, 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 of power looking after me. You're one included as well now, you know. That's, that's, that's how I take it, whether I've been a good mood or bad mood, I know when someone cares. Sure. You know, and it doesn't matter how run of them, you know, how much, you know, and, and it matters because I've been in situations where no one's cared. I've been, I've been through severe trauma in, as a young, young person, and, and it, I'm finding that where I'm staying with, with the Salvation Army, there's a few soldiers or ex-soldiers in the place, 
and they really say, Benny, you're not that bad of a lad. And I tell you, I, I, I'd love to say it to you more, so you believe it more. Well, tell me, Benny, you know? what do you need? If, if a bit of confidence, get, a bit of... What do you need in help, like, I mean, in general, just to get you into a place where you can kind of manage in life, or that you might find a bit of peace or happiness? A bit of, better, better health. Better yeah, health. health yeah. Better health and fitness, and a better idea of what I'm here to do in life. Okay, the sense of purpose, man. Sense of purpose. And do you have any family? Uh, your mum and still alive? And yeah, yeah, yes. I, I have little sisters and I have, I have big brothers. And I do. I, when I see them, I babysit them and teach them how to do a bit of walk around the house. And they have, they have a great time. But yeah. I, I, I find now that in the last couple of years, that the trouble it causes with my ma saying, oh God, me, oh, the, the other brothers and sisters giving out because ma's babying me. I just learned, learned to stay away. and. I yeah. keep me distance and say, give an old phone call and say, how are you doing? Did you go home for Christmas or No, she's in there. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get lonely over there? Uh, Are you lonely or have you got used to it? Uh, it's, it is lonely, but it's like, it's like, how do you want to go back to the previous time when you had no room to live in and you were sleeping in a sleeping bag or under un, under a tree or in a doorway and so you're saying it's lonely but it's better than yeah because I, kn I know i'm never i know i'm well i know my, my schizophrenia will never really fully recover and on a physical level i found when i first went on a, a, a land pain tablets that uh my eyelids wouldn't my, my eyes wouldn't focus so i, I said god what am i going to do with a car i can never drive again so i know it's whatever i do as a as a, as a keep busy scheme sure. Can never reach to the height I had at the ball. And tell me, my friend, do you do you plug in with any of the uh, services with Merchants Key? Or yeah, anything? oh, they're amazing. What they are fucking like, sublimely fantastic. What's your typical day like? You know, uh, I wake up, have have breakfast, go down to the homeless cafe, sit around, talk to people, get high at some stage, yeah. talk to me, to me, me key walker about what's the plan for my, for my, you know. And that's just kind of sitting in, in the evening, watching TV, listening to the radio, and then fall asleep and do the same kind of thing. What about the same scoring? Day. You didn't mention scoring or, or talking. Yes, yeah, I do try and get high. Yeah, try. I just when you try and get high, just. So what does try and get high? What does that entail? Getting get get getting get the money, yeah. uh, making sure I don't owe out money, uh, yeah. thinking about, you know. Uh, like, uh, who's the best to go to? So I don't get, I don't get fucking ripped and stuff like sure. that. And what kind of things do you have to do for your money, bro? Oh, I, everything, honest. I don't do anything. I do, I do either tap or do get a loan or money or whatever, you know. Yeah, you're just trying to survive. Yeah, it? yeah, I don't, I don't believe in robbing. I, I have, I have had a couple of minor thefts, like you know, yeah. but I'd never do it again. I never, you know. And what would your hope be for the future, then? Tell me that, Bob. What would your old people in the future if you had That I learned from my mistakes. I learned from my mistakes. Okay, but would you have a particular outcome in mind? Safety. Com composure. Oh, confidence. Uh, so meaning something to myself and to everybody else. Being a good inspiration. But for you to feel good about yourself, then, you've got to start hurting yourself. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And you're hurting yourself to take them drugs. Let's call it for what it was. So, to feel better about yourself, my friend, at some point, if you can come to terms with that and stop taking the, doing the things that are hurt for you, then the good stuff will come. If that good stuff can't come into your life when you're hurting yourself, it wouldn't make sense. You know? No. Why would we God be throwing you a right line when you're. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Bro? Yeah, yeah. Uh, someone said to me once about uh, drug addiction is a kind of slow suicide. It was a very profound uh, statement someone made to me very recently, and it got me thinking. And it is, it's a slow form of suicide, you know? Um, so when we stop killing ourselves, that's when we learn to live, you know? Example, exactly, isn't it? Yeah, you, you, you. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, bro. Thanks so much for sharing your, uh, you know, your experience. What it's like to be Bernard and yeah. in these tough times and with your addiction. Uh, you haven't complained. You just told us it as it is. And thank you very much. Uh, I respect that. And I hope things get better for you, brother. Yeah.
You're welcome, Zor. I, I, I really enjoyed this. I very enjoyed it. I'm